Ukraine is a personal drama for Putin. So it's not only about Russian foreign policy. This is about his personal take. He lost Ukraine in 2004 after the Orange Revolution. He lost Ukraine after 2014, after the Revolution of Dignity. His ultimate goal is to restore, in, in another way probably, a new type of Soviet empire. Russian Soviet empire with the KGB, KGB style. So no doubt, and he made it public a number of times, that they want to restore so-called spheres of interests. And Ukraine was, is, and will be. For the Russian Empire, the key thing in his mindset of this so-called sphere of interests. President Kuchma once said that Ukraine is not Russia. And this is the key difference between our state. Ukraine is a country of freedom. Ukraine is a country of real democracy. Ukraine is a country of free people. Ukraine is a country, Ukraine is the nation that is fighting for its independence. Putin will never give up. The only way to communicate with the guy from the position of the strength, and I fully share your take, Congressman, this is the only language that President Putin understands. The stronger we are, the quicker we can fix this problem with Russia. Because Ambassador, it's a pity that Ambassador left, but we were so happy that the miracle happened and we signed the Minsk deal. And I always said that, look, the Minsk deal, we had just two options, bad and worse. So the Minsk deal is just the bad option. It was on the table. Are we ready to implement Minsk? Yes. Did President Putin did make a minor step, just one small step, to impose the ceasefire? He can make it in a snapshot. Just pick up this, the phone and ask his general chief of staff to stop the fire, to impose the real ceasefire. Nothing's happening. So fighting with Ukraine, President Putin is fighting with you. He's fighting with the free world. And please do realize this that we are at the front of this fight. The, this is the front for the free world, for the democracy, and this is the front where we are fighting for our joint freedoms.